The Creative Grids Face Mask Template is a fast way to cut out shaped, double-layered face masks. Our exclusive Creative Grids Grip has been added to prevent slipping. Choose from small, medium, or large. All of these sizes are available and marked clearly on one template. For ease, we've also printed a handy guide of elastic sizes right on the template. And to allow you to customize the fit of your mask even more, we've added an optional pleat. To cut out your mask, simply stack two coordinating fabric pieces two times with right sides together and line up the corner of your preferred size on the corner of the fabric. Then cut around the template with your rotary cutter. There will be a total of four pieces, an outer set and an inner set. Follow the instructions included with the template or watch the rest of this video. So the first thing you're gonna do, and I've already done it, is you'll stitch down the center front seam um, with a quarter inch seam allowance. So you wanna do that to both the outer and the inner. Once that's done, grab a pair of scissors and you'll want to notch out um, the curve. So this will help the curve to relax when it's all put together and sit nicely um, over your face. All right. So we wanna go to but not through the stitch line every about quarter to half inch or so so that we have it uh, trimmed out you can see. Um, and then we'll do the side as well. All right. Okay. So now, if you have um, a tailor's ham, I would recommend using it at this point. And what you'll do is you'll want to flatten out your seam to one side and you can use um, a hot iron at this point or you know if you have one of these little roll and press devices that will help too so we'll do that to both sides um, so you'll want to go one direction for the lining and the other direction for the, for the outside of the fabric. So you wanna do that all the way down. Um, you'll get the most crisp line on the iron, but if you're making a ton of these, uh, you might just wanna finger press or use your roll and press device right at your machine. Okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna take and put the mask right sides together and uh, Make sure you nest those seam allowances so that they're going in either direction, okay? Um, and then you'll grab a pin and nest that seam at the top. And then also here at the bottom. So everything is matching up. Now make sure that your seam allowances are going in the same direction on either side. All right. Okay, so once you have it pinned, then we're gonna sew the side seams is your second step. And again, we'll sew at one quarter inch seam allowance, making sure that you back tack um, at the top and at the bottom to secure, secure your threads. flip it around and you'll sew the other side seam matching up your your cut edges right. okay now we're gonna do the elastic so what you'll do is grab one piece of elastic. Um, the template tells you that based on the size of the mask, um, you'll use a different size. 
I'm using seven inches of elastic because that's what works for me. I'll probably end up wearing this at some point. Um, so feed your elastic up into the side seam so that it sits flush against your stitch line and just peeks out a teeny bit here at the top. And then you put a pin in to secure it. And now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now you see the elastic is inserted into either side of the mask along the side seam. Now we're going to sew along the top of, um, of the mask. So a little trick that I like to do is I like to start in my center of my seam and go out and go out and that will give me um, really a perfect curve on either side of the center seam. It's up to you if you wanted to start at one end and go to the other, either way. But I'm just going to show you how I like to do it because I feel that it really gives you a nice, um, even seam that way, even curve. So we'll start right here at, in the center at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And we'll stitch Now here we're getting really close to the elastic, so we'll make sure to get rid of this pin so that we don't sew over the pin. And uh, go ahead and catch that elastic in the seam. And I like to back tack a few times um, just to make sure it's really solid in there. All right. Now I'm just gonna flip it over and sew the other side of my curve. So we'll just pick up right where we, we started. Okay. And you can, now you're gonna have a perfect curve that will be the same um, on either side. So it'll be nice and symmetrical. Okay. Make sure to remove your pin before you continue on. And then back tack a few times to make sure that the elastic is secure. All right. Now we're ready to do the bottom elastic. So you can see it's still sticking out of the bottom. So what you'll do is just push that elastic in so that it lines up equally with the bottom of your mask. And it's nice and snug here against the uh, the side seam, put a pin in, and then just feel it to make sure that it's the inside elastic is totally away from your edge and also that it didn't do any like twisting. All right, and then we'll do the same thing over here on the other side. Just push it in, leaving it so that it will catch in the seam when we sew. So here what we're going to do is we'll start at one end and then we'll leave a gap for turning and then continue on to the other side. Okay, so let's remove the pin so we don't sew over that. Back tack a few times to secure the elastic. stop about here back tack a little bit so it doesn't pull when I open scoot it down so now we left a nice opening to be able to turn and we'll finish off our seam here and again securing the edge the end of the elastic Now before we turn it inside out, what we're really going to need to do is um, clip this inside curve here. 
So when it clips, it allows the stitch line to lay nice and flat and curve around. So all I'm just going to do is make a couple of few clips in here all along the curve. So we want to go two, but not through the stitch line. All right. Now when this turns, it'll really lay nice and flat. You see how much those clips opened up? All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and turn. Um, you can just use your fingers or a, a turning um, a turning tool if you want, but it'll come out really nice. Okay. We'll just give the elastic a little tug to get those corners out. Okay, so now you can see the mask is pretty much done. Um, at this point, you can take it over to your iron and give it a good press. Um, and then bring it back to your machine. And you'll want to top stitch all the way around at about a scant quarter of an inch. And that will also close the opening from where you turned it. So we'll just stitch around here. Now you'll notice on your template that there is a line to make a pleat. So this is a little something extra that we added um, to make sure the mask really fits snugly and comfortably on whoever the wearer is. Some people find that they don't need a pleat. Um, it really depends on the size of your head and your face. Um, but if you do need a pleat, there are some marks on the template and basically what you would do is just mark it with a little chalk or two pins or something you know, however you choose to mark your pleat, and then bring the two pleat lines together and fold down. And then at that point, you just go ahead and secure that, that pleat down. Um, and that's it. Very quick. Thanks for watching.